Hey guys, so a couple weeks ago I did a video that was like 10 kind of weird life hacks and for the most part you guys seem to really like it so I thought I would do a part two to this video. Most of these I have found online. I know you guys are all very savvy internet people so you've probably seen a few of these before but hopefully there's one or two that you haven't. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. If you're new here be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's free and it'll just let you know when I upload my next videos and if you have any life hacks you'd like to share with everyone please leave them in the comment section down below. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let's go. So life hack number one is super easy. Obviously most phones come with like some sort of app or feature where you can use the camera light as a flashlight, but sometimes that's really not quite enough. What you can do is you can take your phone, turn on the flashlight feature and set it down on a table like this, and then actually place like a water bottle on top of it. And this will help just kind of like magnify the light a little bit and make it a little bit brighter. That way if you're in any sort of emergency situation where your phone is all you have, this will kind of brighten up the room a little bit. So my second hack is meant for sunglasses and I want to disclaim really quick this is a hack for like cheaper lower end sunglasses that you might be having trouble with with like the quality a lot of times this piece gets like really flimsy and just will not stay put and it's super frustrating you can take a little bit of clear nail polish and apply it to the hinge of this this will help it just kind of be a little bit more firm and sturdy and it's a good way to kind of add a little bit more time onto the life of your sunglasses if they're starting to fall apart so my third light hack for you is really cool so if you're ever somewhere and you have the cord of your phone charger, but not like the brick piece that plugs into the wall, if there's a TV nearby, a lot of times TVs have like a USB port. So you can actually plug your phone into the TV and use that to charge it. If you're using something that's not meant to be an iPhone charger, you want to keep an eye on it. Don't leave it unattended for like four hours just because you never know. But I've tried this. It totally works. It's really cool. And it's definitely a great trick if you don't have that one piece for your iPhone. So staying with the technology theme, Another thing you can do is you can actually use like an old ketchup bottle or a mustard bottle as a cleaner for your keyboard. So what you want to do is take one of these bottles and remove the lid and if it's dirty you definitely go ahead and wash it off before you do this. So then what you can do is take a small vacuum cleaner, I just have this little handheld one that attaches to my regular vacuum and use the lid on top to get in between those like really small spaces on your keyboard. This just helps like I said clean out like the really tiny spaces that are hard to get to and the suction from the vacuum actually holds the nozzle in place so it works really well. So my next hack has to do with toilet paper because that's a sexy discussion. I'm sure all of you have experienced at some point in your life that moment of terror where the toilet paper roll just goes out of control. To avoid this, what you can do is take the end of the toilet paper and actually just like tuck it into the roll. This will just kind of secure it into place and then you don't have to worry about it all just like unraveling in front of you because that's super depressing. <laughs> so my next hack for you is if you live with anyone who does not put the remote away, this will be my dad. I find it in the most random places. What you can do is you can actually put Velcro strips on like a coffee table or the remote. And that way you can just stick the remote to the coffee table. It will always have a place and there's no excuse to not put it away because it's so easy. So moving on, my next hack for you is how to recycle a milk carton and turn it into a dustpan. Basically the handle of the milk actually works really well as a handle for a dustpan. So I'll show you just like a really quick template of how you can trim it out so that it forms like a little pan and then you can use this to sweep up any dirt. It's just like a really great way to recycle the carton and actually put it to use. If you guys have rugs in your house or your room anywhere that move around a lot, this is a really helpful hack for you. So they make those little command strips that are actually Velcro. I use those on my floor to actually keep my rug in place because this rug that I'm sitting on right now moves around to the point where I almost think that it's haunted. So you can put these strips on the floor and then apply the other side to the bottom of your rugs and this will help keep them in place so they're not sliding around everywhere. So my last hack for you goes back to your phone. If you're ever worried that somebody is going to figure out your passcode, what you can do is set it so that you use letters instead. And to take it a step further, you can use letters that have like accents, like an E with an accent. This is just going to make it a lot harder for somebody to break into your phone. So if that's something that you're worried about, it's definitely a really helpful trick. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about anything, be sure to leave them. All right, <laughs> be sure to leave them down below. I will see you guys in the next video.